New at 9 tonight, Phoenix police are looking for a suspect after a teen was shot and killed in Ahwatukee. And now his family is hoping anyone with information on this comes forward. Fox 10's Stephanie Bennett picks up the story from there. Yeah, just tragic news, guys. The, this 18-year-old uh, was shot on a Monday night just near 48th Street and Ray Roads in Ahwatukee. We spoke with his mom and sister today who are just devastated by this news. They say he was shot just half a block from his home. I don't understand why people would be so evil. 18-year-old Anthony Covarubias, known as Gia, or Chubbs to his family and friends, had his whole life ahead of him. It just hurts that he's not going to be able to grow up with my daughter to be that uncle that he was when he was alive. His family devastated, remembering him today as a funny, smart, and well-loved guy, often at times known as the man of the house. If he went somewhere, I went with him. We were attached. We were the closest one. We read each other's mind. That was my everything. The shooting happened just before 6.30 Monday night near South 48th Street and Ray Roads in Ahwatukee. When police arrived, they found Covarubias with multiple gunshot wounds. He was taken to the hospital where he died. His mom says she was coming home from work when she saw the ambulance. He texted me. He goes, Mom, where are you at? I said, I'm on my way. He goes, okay, I love you. He goes, I'm hungry. That's the last text that I got from him. Now the family is demanding justice and is hoping someone in the neighborhood saw something or captured the shooter on a surveillance camera. I'm asking for justice. I wish they'll catch the person that did it. And I want to tell that person because I know you're watching. Come out and give yourself up. For now, police are asking anyone with information or who may have seen anything to contact them directly or call Silent Witness at 480-WITNESS. The family has set up a GoFundMe to help for funeral costs. That will be on our website at fox10phoenix.com. For now, reporting live in Phoenix, Stephanie Bennett for Fox 10 News. Thank you, Stephanie.